You know, the problem with uh, Slaley Hall is they're better too comfy. I'm late for me tea time. I think I should just make the first tea. Right, I just about made it in time. It is, of course, three hole challenge, man versus golf, Q Hotels, Slaley Hall. Okay, so we've teed off. I've got plenty of time now to take a breather. Quick reminder of the rules of this game. Three hole challenge, me versus the stroke index on the card. Each hole is worth a point, final hole worth three points, so whatever happens will go down to the wire. I've been set the challenge by Q Hotels, they've picked the three holes, so I've got a bit of warm up time, and then we kick things off, I think, on the fourth. See you there. The challenge starts here, it's the fourth hole, it's 362 yards, it's stroke index six into the breeze. Pretty tough start, and as you can see from the drone footage, we've got a little bit of water to contend with. We've got a very much an uphill second shot, and then we'll see what lies around what looks to be a tricky green. But first of all, let's see if we get this tee shot away. So my reckoning is, at that bunker, or inside that bunker line gives us an angle in and then possibly the longest run out we shall see okay it's probably gone to plan as long as it's long enough it wasn't oh yeah we're bouncing that's not a bad start we're in position i've got a feeling that's going to leave quite a hefty second shot in we're into the breeze second shot is uphill but we're away at least. Like 181 uphill. Hmm. Ah, stay. <sighs> Golf is a cruel game. Three hybrid over club trying to take the trouble out of the equation. Stayed right of the green and kicked into the bunker. That was hard luck, you know. Right, so partly disappointed because there's a huge rise in the green which I managed to get the ball to the back end of and like I said, try to avoid all the trouble and got a nasty kick anyway, stop whinging. Sand is quite firm, had quite a lot of rain. Pop it up soft and... Yeah, that's good. Sit! Sit! No, I didn't quite sit but I've got to be happy with that shot. So two for the half but one for the win. Come on. Hit the damn thing and... Nah. Okay, so... Uh, you know what? I played the hole reasonably well. That's a five, net four. First hole, half. Right, okay, so a decent start with a the half there. Next hole in the challenge is the 14th. It's 3.27, which doesn't sound a lot, but I'm facing this way to protect my mic from a breeze which is blowing straight back into us. There's one major issue. Oh, I say two, actually. We've got a big bunker down the right-hand side. And we've got a big pond on the left-hand side. Wish me luck. Do you know what? This is quite a daunting tee shot. Normally, I like to hit a left to right, but the problem with that is that means taking on the water's edge because it's quite a... Well, it's a narrow fairway. It looks to be from down here anyway. I'll tee this one down a bit. Come on, keep the ball low. Oh, and that's a tee shot. Did everything I wanted to do. Slowed the swing down. Get the ball flight low. And that one's chasing up there. That's the first bit done. Just got to worry about the water by the green now. Right, now as pleased as I was with that controlled drive, I'm going to need something similar again. It's only playing 147, it's a back pin and obviously we've got bunkers straight in front of us so I'm going to be aiming left side of the green but I don't want to go too far left because we've then got the water which is why I like a good design golf hole. Now I'm going to hit 4 iron, yeah, 
four iron, would you believe? Can I control this one? Low ball flight, left to right. I got the ball flight, it's not turning enough, but it's probably, yeah, do you know what? That's probably a really intelligent shot. Yeah, intelligence, I said. Right, checking the stroke index. I don't get a shot. We need a two putt for a half. I'm a long way from the flag and uh, probably closer to that water than I uh, thought I was, actually. Right, come on, give yourself a chance. Roll out, roll out, roll out, roll out. Oh my word. Well, as you can tell, I was a little excited to say the least because for a long time I thought that was in the hole. But I've got to say, I will take a tap in four. Take it down the last because, as we know, it's all going down to the wire. Right, what's next? Right, okay, final hole is a par three. 179 yards. We've got a bit of uh, water between T and green. Okay, so 179, the first decision that has to be made is we just played up 14, which is very much into the wind. I can't feel anything here, but I've, uh, it's got to be going downwind. So I'm going to play six iron. That's interesting. I played 154 iron up into the wind, and now I'm playing six iron. But it's probably going to need my, uh, my, a decent six. Right. I just think at the flag, we've got no choice here. Well, it's a decent knock. It's whether or not the yardage is right. We've got a little bit of left to right carry. That's bounced. It looks to be towards the back end, maybe even pin high, to be honest with you. Probably the best iron of it today. Can we hold a putt? Well, do you know what? In terms of control, I can feel the wind down here, certainly. In terms of control, we're pin high. I don't know, what's that? 20 foot. Don't forget to so put it for the win. Two for the half here at Slaley Hall. Right. I'm reading a bit of left to right. I don't think there's a lot in it. It's certainly a makeable putt. Can I get the pace right? Come on, for the win. Move. Move. Oh! It broke after the hole. I've literally finished right behind the cup. I think I got the read right, or maybe a tad too wide. But anyway, that is a par three. That means another hole half. That's three holes halved. And slay the all, we're all square. So that's it. I was late to the first tee, but my game actually turned up on time, to be honest with you. I played really well there today. It was a good half. I only got a shot on the first one. And then, in all honesty, like I said, I played some decent golf. I just want to say before I go that Slaley Hall was in superb condition. Pretty dry on the foot. Uh, greens rolling really well. And uh, as you know, they do comfy beds here as well. Anyway, I'm going to get something to eat tonight, which you can come and join me. I see we'll keep the camera rolling. I'll go and get something to eat few drinks and then tomorrow morning I'm on the Priestman course which I think is over that way and we've got another challenge set by Q Hotels. Right let's get to the bar. <laughs>